We have seen uh, actually quite many terminals by now which have in running terminal efficiently solved issues like turnaround times for trucks, uh, efficient handling of transshipment boxes or on-dock rail, all by introducing automatic RMGs or automated intermodal yard cranes to the terminals. Some terminals have taken it really all the way. They have completely transformed their yard operation, starting step by step to introduce ARMGs and or re-equipping, automating existing cranes to the extent that they have ended up with a fully automated yard. And uh, we see these uh, trends are getting stronger. For successful projects, it's not only about equipment, it's processes, it's especially handoffs between automated equipment and uh, manual equipment. And it's, it's also about creating good working environment and teamwork. You should really look for the weakest links in the terminal. Where would adding automated new or refurbished equipment do the most for the terminal? They should also think of how do they like to operate the terminal in 5, 10, even 15 years because that gives the input to what should be included in the first step of the investments to support further steps and support the ultimate goals and visions of the terminal. And they should remember that uh, automation, it's, it's equipment, it's systems, it's also processes, and very important, it's operational staff. If remembering all four and acting on all four, I think you should have really successful projects.